Zone Trigger works in conjunction with a traditional trigger type, such as Edge, Slope, I2C, Pulse, or any of the other 21 trigger types. Zone Trigger looks at all the captures from the original trigger type and displays only the ones that meet the active zone criteria. This makes it simple to isolate signal artifacts with a simple touch. Here we're looking at a 1 MHz square wave that has an occasional glitch. Zoom in on it there. Now, due to the Keller grading on the 7000, we can easily see this glitch, this aberration that's occurring. But now we want to isolate it. We can easily activate a trigger zone. And now we're capturing only the signals that intersect with that, so looking at only at those dropouts. We can easily change that and capture only the ones that stay high longer. So that's an easy way between the two zones to isolate signals of interest and really capture signal artifacts, whether it be on glitches like this, serial communication packets, or another, a number of other complex signals.